All right, so in the next couple of videos, we're going to look at some basic algebra. Uh, we're going to look at expanding and factoring when you have variables involved. Um, so, basic example, the one that a lot of people learn is this uh, FOIL rule, right? When you've got something like 2x minus 1, you want to multiply by x plus 4. So the FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, last, right? So you, you multiply the first term, so you do the 2x times x, 2x squared. The outside terms, the 2x and the 4, 4 times 2 gives you 8x. Minus 1 times x, those are the inside ones, so minus x, and then finally minus 1 times 4, the last terms. Okay. You can simplify in the middle. And you're done. Now, that's fine if your problem involves multiplying a couple of binomials. Then FOIL works just great. Uh, but this is not going to be the only situation that you run into, right? There's going to be other, other types of multiplication that you have to do. Uh, so what's probably better to do is to realize that what you're doing when you're doing FOIL, right, is you're relying on this distributive property. The fact that you can take this x plus 4, multiply it through these brackets, so you can do the x plus 4 multiplied by 2x, and then do the x plus 4 multiplied by minus 1. So when you take this and you multiply by 2x, right, that's going to give you this term and that term, the first two terms. When you take this and you multiply by minus 1, it's giving you the other two terms, right? So these ones here, right, come from multiplying by 2x, and that produces this term and that term. When you multiply by the minus 1, it's going to produce this term and that term. And if you remember this in, in terms of this basic distributive property, then you can extend from FOIL to other situations. So you might be dealing with a problem where you've got x minus 2. And instead of having to multiply by another binomial, maybe you've got something like 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, right? Suddenly FOIL doesn't work because this is not a binomial. So you can't rely on FOIL, but you can still rely on the distributive property. You can take this bracket here, multiply first by the x, then by the minus 2. So we can do x times 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus 2 times 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And then distributive property again, push the x through the brackets, push the minus 2 through the brackets, don't lose the minus sign. So we're going to get 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x, and then minus 2 times 3 minus 6x squared. Right? Minus 2 times minus 2, double negative gives you positive, plus 4x minus 2 times 4 minus 8. All right? And if you want, you can group terms, right? So there's only one degree 3 term, x cubed. There are two degree 2 terms. We can group those together. Minus 8x squared, two 4x's, so plus 8x minus 8, and you're done. Okay? You can also expand if you have three or more factors that you need to multiply out. So maybe you have to do something like x minus 2, 2x plus 1, 3x minus 4. You want to multiply that out. Now, 
This is one of these situations where, again, you're relying on these basic algebraic properties of the real numbers that we don't necessarily always explicitly state, but we use frequently. One of the multiplication properties for the real numbers is this associative property for multiplication, which says if you need to multiply three or more things, it doesn't matter how you group. You could choose to group these two together, so do the product of the first two and then multiply by the third, or you could decide that you want to do these ones here, mul multiply the last two, and then multiply by the first. You can group it either way, you will get the same answer. Um, so why don't we decide that we want to group the first ones together, right? So then we're going to do the multiplication inside the larger brackets first, then we're going to deal with that last term. So then what we get is, so x times 2x, 2x squared, x times 1, you'll notice I'm guilty of actually using FOIL here, minus 2 times 2x, minus 4x, minus 2 times 1, minus 2, times 3x minus 4. Probably you want to simplify this before you multiply it all out. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 4. And again, you multiply it all out, and we're now in this sort of scenario here, right? There are three terms, so again, we can't fall back on FOIL. Um, but with a bit of practice, you can kind of, you know, you can do this step in your head just like you kind of do with FOIL, right? So you can say, okay, I'm going to take each term in the first bracket. First, I'm going to multiply by the 3x. So 2x squared times 3x, I get 6x cubed minus 3x times 3x minus 9x squared minus 2 times 3x minus 6x. Okay, now I'm going to take those three terms. I'm going to multiply them all by minus 4. So 2x squared times minus 4, minus 8x squared, minus 3x times minus 4, minus minus gives me plus 12x, and then finally minus 2 times minus 4, plus 8. So now we group, right? 6x cubed, minus 9 minus 8, minus 17x squared, minus 6 plus 12, plus 6x, and then finally plus 8, and you're all done.